I want you to call me. I want to lay my hand upon your vow. Maybe your preacher tore the page out. I don't know, but it's in my Bible. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. John? Dearly, Johnson. She'd gotten her information from prayer cards filled out by the faithful before the show began. She wants to get rid of the walker. You want to get rid of this walker, sister? Oh, glory. How long have you been walking on that walker? About three years. Three years. She was at 1627 10th Street. 1627 10th Street? Is that right? That's right. She has arthritis all over. Burning this arthritis. Money is coming to you. That's right. Miracle money. Divine transfers. I want to show you how to get yourself into a position so that you can receive healing in your body. I feel someone is suffering right now. I want to love and be loved. As you plant this seed, as you go to the telephone, even right now, and call us, and even if it's something that takes you three or four weeks, or... I want to love and be loved. Why is it that uh, sowing seed, financial seed, gives favor? Why? God responds to money. The only thing that pleasures God is cash. If you're not going to trust that part of the Bible, what part are you going to believe? If you've chosen to doubt a chapter in the Bible, don't shout, don't don't doubt the blessing chapter. If you just have to doubt the Bible, doubt the hell chapter. Don't doubt the, the money chapter. <laughs> I would never spend more money on a suit than I would my mind. I can, can't replace my mind, I only have one. I wanted to start the program by telling you I love you and I thank God for you. Benny, I am absolutely thrilled, amazed, and honored to be here on the program with you today to talk about Thieves, my book Thieves. And get a pen and paper right now, precious things, because you'll be writing things down. He's sending you, of course, his book and so forth, but he says a lot more than what's in the book, I think, sometimes. Well, Benny, Thieves is the true story, as you know, of the safe robbery of your friend, the television pastor, Mike Murdoch. So it covers everything that led up to the safe robbery the years that I spent on the run from television pastor uh, and of course you know all of the details in between so that's you know that's really what thieves is I guess my biggest question would be to you Mike uh, how has thieves impacted you a number of months since its release date that I wrote a little song for you how dumb thou art <laughs> was uncalled for. I, I didn't deserve that. I mean, that's, that's going a little bit under the belt. It took everything I know to get money. It took every hour of my life to create money. How much did you tell people that you lost, Mike? Million. E excuse me? H how much? Million. Million. <sighs> Mike, what did you... What did you do with all that money? I was able to buy a beautiful Cessna Citation jet, cash. A few months later, bought another jet worth three times what that one was. A little bit later, bought a third jet. Bought them all three. Mike, I can appreciate that, but uh, I don't die. Honestly, I don't believe you. I don't think the only thing that you were buying was jet planes. I mean, even back, uh, even back then, when I was around, I remember your your Paradise Mansion. Just to do some kind of freaky, maybe that's a bad word. Uh, there was a little bit of sex stuff going on. Mike, how is it that you respond to, to that? I'm 64. I've been single 30 years. God himself yeah, it's not good for men to says, yeah. I am not enough for Adam. Yeah. He needs a woman. You must identify the divine domain where God has made you king. God doesn't mind you experimenting and exploring. He understands that. The Bible said he knew we were but flesh. Yeah. Sometimes I go crazy. Yeah. I'll go by a telephone post and want to hug it. You know, I just I said sometimes I go crazy. <laughs> Let me assure you, none of us are units. <laughs> Mike, you're a pastor. 
a pastor. I just found that out. <laughs> I've known you all those years. <laughs> Didn't know you actually had a church. House. <laughs> You're going to give us money when you die. Give me my money early. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. What did you just say to me, Mike? Give me my money early. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. Don't you, don't you go getting all like that on me, Mike. Now let me explain something. When Elijah went to the widow of Zarephath, she had one meal left. He didn't say, keep it, you need it more than I do. You ain't Elijah and I ain't the widow of Seraphim. Benny, I've enjoyed being on your program. I thank you for having me today. Thirteen years ago, I ripped off, I stole a safe from a television pastor, not my best decision making, ran to Mexico and wrote a book about it. Uh, These, as far as I know, there's nothing else in the world like it. So I've been in the ivory towers and I, I've been in the pits. Story of a guy, me, that guy, robbing a television pastor. I am the man who robbed him. Running to Mexico. And every gritty deal, detail, from start to finish. Thirteen years of the darkest years of my life were running from a man that you see on your TV screen named Mike Murdoch. Fantastically difficult times for me, thrill ride for you. I'm Trey Smith. Thank you for listening and reading.